Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, obviously, uh, a picture is worth a thousand words, and uh, what we're seeing here, I think, gives you some sense of what uh, the people of Moore and uh, the people of Oklahoma have been dealing with uh, over these last several days. Uh, there are a couple of acknowledgments uh, that I want to make, but uh, let me begin by, by just saying that whenever I come to uh, an area that's been devastated by some natural disaster like this, I want to make sure everybody understands I'm speaking on behalf of the entire country, uh, everywhere. Uh, uh, fellow Americans uh, are praying with you, they're thinking about you, uh, and they want to help. Uh, and so I'm just a messenger here uh, today, letting everybody here know that you are not alone, uh, that you've got folks behind you. Uh, obviously, the damage here is pretty hard to comprehend. Uh, our hearts go out to the families who've been impacted, uh, including those who've uh, had loved ones who were lost. Uh, and that was true for the parents of some of the children here uh, at Plaza Towers Elementary School. Uh, there are a number of people I want to especially thank uh, because they've uh, engaged in some heroic efforts uh, in dealing with this disaster. Uh, first of all, Governor Mary Phelan, uh, thank you so much for uh, your quick response and your outstanding work. Uh, mayor Glenn Lewis, uh, the mayor of Moore, who uh, has been uh, mayor here before when there was a disaster, uh, and uh, because of his strong spirit uh, and sense of community, uh, has been able to help lead the community through this uh, disaster. We very much appreciate your work. Uh, Representative Tom Cole, uh, not only is this his congressional district, but more importantly, this is his hometown. Uh, and so, uh, you know, for him, this carries a special uh, sadness, but also a resolve uh, in terms of trying to uh, make sure that uh, the, the city of Moore bounces back. Uh, Mayor uh, Mick Cornett, uh, Oklahoma City, uh, a neighbor and friend. We appreciate uh, him being here. Uh, Craig Fugate is here, uh, and obviously we're very proud of the work that uh, he and his FEMA team have done. Uh, Susie Pierce, uh, superintendent of schools here, uh, thank you for your leadership. Uh, Amy Simpson, uh, I want to especially commend uh, Plaza Towers Elementary School principal, as well as uh, Shelley McMillan, uh, the Briarwood Elementary School principal. They were on the ground when this happened, and because of their quick response, uh, they're keeping a level head, uh, they're putting kids first, uh, saved a lot of people. And uh, they're still going through some tough times. Uh, you know, I, I can only imagine uh, being their husbands who were here, and uh, the panic that you know I'm sure they were feeling uh, when uh, the tornado first struck. Uh, but uh, I know that they could not be prouder of their wives uh, for the outstanding work that they did uh, in in this uh, in this amazing situation. Uh, I want to thank uh, Chief of Police Jerry Stillings uh, and all the first responders uh, in this area, who uh, were some of the first folks on the scene, uh, who were putting themselves at risk to save other people's lives. Uh, you know, that's what first responders do, but sometimes we take them for granted, and it's important we don't, and we remember moments like this. Uh, that's why it's so important that we continually support them. Um, you know, at my direction, uh, Craig Fugate uh, arrived here on Tuesday. Uh, FEMA was on the ground even before Monday's tornado hit, and their teams have now completed searches of more than 1,200 buildings. Uh, we've helped to register more than 4,200 people for disaster assistance, and we've approved more than $3.4 million in direct aid. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more to come. Uh, but it's not just a government response. Uh, we've seen incredible outpourings of support from churches, uh, from community groups who are helping folks uh, begin to recover. Uh, this area has known more than its share of heartbreak, uh, but uh, people here pride themselves on uh, the Oklahoma standard. You know, what Governor uh, Phelan's called being able to work through disasters like this and come out stronger on the other side. And that's what we've been seeing this week. Uh, from the forecasters who issued the warnings to the first responders who dug through the rubble uh, to the teachers who shielded with their own bodies uh, their students. Uh, Oklahomans have inspired us with their love and their courage uh, and their fellowship. 
Uh, neighbors have been offering up spare bedrooms and, and couches for those in need of shelter. Universities uh, have opened up uh, their buildings for temporary housing, and local companies uh, have pitched in. Uh, so th this is a strong community uh, with, with strong character. Uh, there's no doubt they're going to bounce back, but they need help, uh, just like any of us would need help uh, if we saw the kind of devastation that we're seeing here. Uh, you know, we have about 1,200 uh, uh, you know, homes that have been completely destroyed, but we've got 12,000 that have been damaged uh, in one way or another. And that's uh, a big piece of business. And along with the schools, we've got a hospital that has been uh, destroyed. Uh, it's going to take a long time uh, for this community to rebuild. So uh, I want to urge every American uh, to step up. If I've got one message uh, for folks here today, go online, donate to the American Red Cross. Uh, and if you're from the area and you need to register for disaster assistance, you can call 1-800-621-FEMA. Uh, that's 1-800-621-FEMA. Or you can go to disasterassistance.gov, uh, disasterassistance.gov uh, on the web. Uh, either way, uh, I guarantee you, if you've got uh, some significant damage and, and, and have it been impacted, uh, go ahead and, and, and reach out, and there are going to be professionals there who are uh, ready and willing to provide you the assistance that you need. Um, we know more is going to come back stronger uh, from this tragedy. Uh, you, your, your mayor said that you're, you're already printing new street signs. Yes, uh, and I want folks uh, affected uh, throughout Oklahoma to know that uh, we're going to be with you every step of the way. Uh, on Sunday, the first deadly tornadoes touched down about 40 miles from here. And I, I mentioned this the day afterwards. Uh, I, there was a story that really struck me uh, in the press. Uh, in the rubble uh, was found a Bible uh, open to the words that read, A man will be as a hiding place from the wind and a cover from the tempest. Uh, and you know, that it's, it's a reminder, as scripture often is, that uh, uh, you know, God uh, has a plan. And uh, it's important, though, that we also recognize we're uh, instrument of, of his will. And, and we need to know that uh, as fellow Americans, we're going to be there as, as shelter uh, from the storm for the people of Moore who've been impacted. Uh, and when we say that we've got your back, uh, I promise you uh, we keep our word. Uh, if, you, if you talk to folks in Alabama who've been affected over the last couple of years, you talk to the folks at Joplin who I know have actually sent volunteers down here to Moore. Uh, if you talk to folks in New Jersey and New York, uh, they'll tell you that uh, when we say we're going to be there until you completely rebuild, we mean it. Uh, and, and I want everybody to, to have that confidence. So uh, again, to all the people here behind me, uh, I want to uh, say how proud I am of them, uh, how grateful I am uh, for their service. Uh, I want to make one final comment. Uh, you know, a lot of the first responders talked about uh, the training that they've done, uh, in part through uh, some federal grants. Uh, to prepare for disasters like this. And as a consequence, when it actually happens, they know what to do. They're not losing time. They're able to go through all the drills and the training that they've gone through. Uh, training, education, uh, both for citizenry but also for first responders is absolutely critical. Uh, and we've got to make sure that those resources uh, remain in place. Uh, so uh, I know everybody in Congress cares deeply about what's happening, and I'm confident that uh, resources will be forthcoming uh, when it comes to rebuilding, but remember that it's also the ongoing training uh, and equipment that we're making sure that those things are placed. We can't uh, uh, shortchange uh, that kind of uh, ongoing disaster response. Uh, we can't just wait till the disaster happens. Uh, that's how, in part, we're able to save a lot of lives, uh, and I want everybody to keep that in mind. So uh, with that, uh, let me just, again, say thank you to everybody here. Uh, uh, Madam Governor, thank you for your leadership. And uh, may God bless uh, the people of Oklahoma uh, and obviously continue to bless uh, the United States of America. Thank you.